got another question on YouTube about if you create a living trust, do you have to provide notice to your tenants that you've put your property in trust for, I guess, purposes of, you know, giving notice and paying rent and so forth? Hi, my name is Rob Wells. I'm the Landlord Warrior on TikTok and YouTube. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Now, back in the day, I, I did a lot of, um, like, estate planning stuff and, and been in the probate world. And a lot of times, like, this question is fairly common. You know, you create a trust. Do I got to give notice to my tenants you know, that I put my property, you know, from my individual name into my revocable trust. And the answer is, I'm, I'm going to say no, unless you changed, you know, trustees or something like that. Creating a living trust when you're living, basically for all intents and purposes, just functions just like um, you've, you know, it's, it's no change of ownership or anything like that. Under Civil Code 1962, you have to give your tenants notice within 15 days of any change of management or who who they need to pay if it or if the owner has changed and creating your living trust because it's still revocable meaning you can edit it and so forth like that um it's like business as usual you know i wouldn't worry about it too much now if in your trust you made like another trust like another individual um like your trustee and like they're going to handle the property management roles um then i would give notice okay because you're changing the person for all intents and purposes i don't even you know if you have a trust i don't even name your trust in a, any eviction lawsuit or in any notice unless the trust becomes irrevocable and usually for a revocable trust that's going to be usually on the the creator of the trust is death called the settler or the trustor basically if you die and then someone your your family member picks up you know managing the trust then i would give notice at that point those are my thoughts obviously check with your local attorney or your landlord's counsel because your facts may be different you know some if you create an irrevocable trust that's going to be a lot different too because you're basically giving up control at that point i'd probably give a notice at that point too um but you should have someone review your situation individually if you have any comments or questions put them below i'll try to answer them to the best of my ability until next time folks i'll see you then thanks